guys, it's Elliot from Tutorialize.net and welcome to the third tutorial in my Angular development tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at Angular services and I'm going to be showing you exactly what services are, how we can create them and how we can utilize them within our Angular applications. For more information you can check out my tutorial on Angular services which I'll link to in the info section below. So what are services? Well in Angular we can define these things called services and within these services we typically define functionality that can be shared across multiple components in our application. Say for instance we're working on an application that allows us to manage a to-do list. If we have multiple components that need to access our total list of to-dos, then instead of writing the same code to fetch all of our to-dos in multiple components, we can instead encapsulate this into a service and just call the service to retrieve our to-dos for us. This is hugely advantageous for us as developers as it allows us us to minify code replication as the service we can define can be shared across numerous components. So how do we create our own services? Well if we jump back to the project that we created in the last two tutorials and we navigate to the terminal we can actually use the Angular CLI to automatically generate everything we need for our new service. So ngg service and we'll call it a to-do service. Now what this will do is it will create the two files we need for our service and um, the test file the .spec.ts and the actual service file itself and if we have a look at this you'll see that it imports the injectable from angular core and it creates a class called to do service with just an empty constructor and then it decorates this export class with the injectable decorator so once it's done that, um, we can jump back into our app.module.ts file and we can import this new service into our ng module. Uh, so to do service from to do dot service. And then we have to add this to the array of providers so that other components can use it. Should you forget to add this to your array of providers, then you should see errors like so. No provider for to-do service. So it's definitely important that you add this to the providers array here. Now that you've done that, you can verify that your build has been successful. And you can also quickly go to localhost 4200 in your browser and you should see that everything is working as expected. So now that we've done that and we've successfully created our own service and imported it and um, it's time to pad out the functionality and then incorporate that functionality into one of our already defined components. So before we go any further we first want to define our to-do class. So go into your app folder and then do new file and to-do.ts and within that to-do.ts file we're going to do the following export class to-do and we're going to give each to do an ID, which will be of type number, and a description, which will be a string. And then go into your to do.service and then import to do from to do, like so. Next, what we're going to do, just for an example, is create a constant array of to-dos which we're going to populate with just some dummy values. Now typically you would go to a server or interact with a REST API to retrieve these but for now we're going to keep it um, hard-coded and local like so. Now once you've done that we're going to actually define a method that you can do that you can use in your components to retrieve all of these to-dos. So get to-dos and we are simply going to return to do's. And finally to test everything works with our service and actually interact with it we can come into one of our components. Now in this example I'm going to go into app.component.ts and at the top I'm going to import my newly defined to do service to do dot service if I can spell it right and in the constructor I'm going to do the following private lowercase to do service which is of type to do service 
and I'm also going to define an array of to-dos up here and then in ng on init we can do this dot to do's equals this dot lowercase to do service dot get to do's and then to test that everything's working we can do console dot log this dot to do's and if we come into our browser and we let that build we should see in our console an array of the four objects which contain all of the to do's that we defined in our to do dot service. Now that's all you really need to define your own services in Angular. In future tutorials, however, we're going to be going over how you can use RxJS observables in order to interact with REST APIs, but that's all we're going to cover for now. Now, if you found this tutorial useful at all, then please leave a like, and if you require any further information, then please let me know in the comments section below. Cheers.